So now we're going to dive into the myriad of ways to synthesize amines. And uh, we're going to start with mostly review reactions. And we're going to start simply with reduction here. And uh, we learned in the chapter on aromatic compounds that uh, a nitro group can be reduced to an amine group here. And you can use H2PT, uh, although that's not selective for it. But if you want to do a selective reduction, you can either use zinc or tin under acidic conditions, followed by a little bit of base to neutralize it back to an amine. Uh, technically, iron would work as well instead of tin or zinc. Um, so just some options there for selective reduction of your nitro group to an amine. Uh, you can also reduce amides here, azides here, or nitriles here uh, with lithium aluminum hydride. Now technically, uh, a couple of these you can also reduce with hydrogen and stuff like that. Uh, and those are on your sheet. But I want to focus just on the fact that they're all reduced by lithium aluminum hydride uh, to an amine. And one thing to note, and I just want to point out the difference between azides and nitriles, is you can make azides and nitriles both by SN2. So if I had this lovely uh, alkyl halide here, so I could add NaN3, so turning it into the azide with the same number of carbons. But if I added NaCN, I could turn it into the nitrile, but notice it now would have three carbons instead of two. Uh, so from the alkyl, uh, alkyl halides perspective, if I want to end up with an amine with the same number of carbons, use NaN3. If I want to end up with an amine with one additional carbon, use NaCN in your SN2 reaction instead. Cool. And technically, we learned about amides here. We've learned about nitriles with lithium lune hydride. Uh, it's only azides here that is actually a new reaction. Everything else is review, but uh, the mechanism is not important, and I'm just going to lump it all together with the rest of these reductions.